Hey guys, I've done it again. I bought another scooter. Should we get it unpacked? <laughs> I don't like this is not very good at this. Hello, welcome to Artie Shed with Mark <laughs> Jordan and a little psychic. Me and Jordan! Hi guys, welcome to Artie Shed with Mark Jordan. Uh, I've got another box, another unboxing. Uh, again, if you'd have seen my last couple of videos, which I will either go up here or up there, not quite sure. Uh, this isn't RC related, but it is electric, as uh, you know, I like all things electric. This is actually uh, another scooter. So uh, I can see that a lot of you tuned into my last video uh, when I unboxed the uh, Kugu G2 Pro. Uh, and you can watch the videos I did on that. Uh, I actually love that scooter. I think it's a phenomenal bit of kit. Uh, and I compared that to the Jawtron Mini and also to the Cougar G-Max. Uh, and I thought that that was actually much better than my uh, Jawtron Mini. But I'm not actually sure, but this one that I bought now, I think it may actually top all of them. And <laughs> lo and behold, this will probably be the best uh, scooter that you've got sub 100, uh, sub 1000 pounds. So should we uh, get into the unboxing and I'll show you what I've actually bought. Okay, so as I said, this is another new scooter uh, bought from the UK. Uh, it's quite a weighty bit of kit, it's 35 kilo, so it's another heavy scooter. But the thing is, the heavier the scooter means the bigger the battery, and it actually means that the longer that these uh, scooters, one, the quicker they are, and uh, because of the weight with the bigger batteries, they run for a lot longer. So that's a good, good sign to the heavier the scooter, the longer and quicker you're going to go. So let's uh, attack this beast. Let's start off by stripping the uh, off the black stuff. <coughs> so there's no uh, guessing game on this one. You can actually see it is the uh, Cabo uh, Mantis 8, and this is the Eco. So basically, this is the, uh, the single motor, uh, not the dual motor or the Pro. So. Uh, what I like about the single motor ones is that they're not actually too torquey. So with the dual motors, you can find that they're really, you know, quite hard to get off the off the uh, off the line, and it's a bit twitchy and pulls your neck and stuff. So when you do the single motors, they're a lot more easier to uh, smooth and grade in off the line. So that's why I like all of the single motor ones. So moving on, let's open this box, shall we? As always, it's a box inside a box. So all we can do is just grab this open and I haven't seen this scooter as yet so you're seeing it for the first time exactly the same time as I am so okay so as normal uh, charging port normal box of stuff I'm not going to go into detail we've all seen these uh, Oh, they're for your uh, little caps. These are actually what go on the uh, the end of your wheels, on the wheel axle, so that you, obviously, it's exposed, so you don't end up trashing your legs or whatever on it. So, <coughs> nicely packaged. I should just uh, chuck that down there. Right. Let's put that up. Charging uh, adapter. Brochures. Cabo style, really good quality. Uh, yeah, so proper manual as well as opposed to the normal paper ones that you get with most of the other stuff. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just a manufacturer's stuff. So, this I actually cost me uh, 800 pounds because this is actually a X demo. So it was, it was unpacked and, and left in the shop so for people to see whether they want to buy one, this, that and the other. So I actually got a few quid cheaper than what you can actually get it. Uh, as I say, it's still a sub £1,000 scooter. So uh, still quite expensive, you know, and, uh, you know, £1,000 on a mobile, on an electric scooter is, is quite a bit of money. So uh, you need to choose wisely. And hopefully this is why if I do all these reviews on the sub £1,000 scooters, you guys can have an idea as to which one that wants to go for you. You know, uh, whether it's a 
a, uh, a, a Xiaomi, the original M365, or whether you're at the G Max or the uh, Kugu G2, the Dualtron Mini, or this, the Kugu, uh, the Kabu Mantis 8. So this is the newish version of this uh, scooter. So I'm quite excited to see what it uh, what it's like. So uh, let's get it out of the box. Right, I've got bugs crawling all over me now. So it's. Let me just get it off. Ouch! Jesus, that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh. So let me try again. Right. Oh. Leave it out of the way. Get rid of the box. Ah, one second. Jesus Christ, these things do not get any lighter, that's for sure. Take the back out. And now the front. Oh. My God, that is heavy. Let's sit it back on there. Hopefully you guys can still see this. Let me just there. Uh... Okay, okay, so first inspection. Uh, great looking bit of kit. I'll go through to the finer details in it uh, once it's all set up. Uh, but I do like the idea of the short deck. You can't quite see the bottom of the video at the moment, but don't worry about that. We'll get this set up, put the bars in, uh, this, that and the other. Uh, I'll more than likely fast, fast forward this because it's going to be quite a boring uh, put together. But my God, this looks really cool. So let's grab it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the scooter is unpacked. I've got the bars on. Uh, it's a lovely bit of kit, it really is. You know, you've got quite a wide deck, but quite a short deck. Uh, I think you'd probably be able to get your feet. I've got quite small feet, I've got size eight. So I think you'd be able to get them end to end on there. So it should be quite nice. Let's just remove this coating as well. What I do notice from the outset, is that everything seems solid you know the deck everything is it's not made of cheap materials so uh, yeah so first impressions out of the box it looks absolutely fantastic I like the the mininess of it you've got these real chiefy chiefy back uh, back wheels on there and these new uh, zoom uh, it's like uh, not fully hydraulic but assisted hydraulic so it's got cable uh, operated but then uh, hydraulic, I think on the, I might be wrong. I need to do my homework on that. Yeah, a little bit of hydraulic on the pivot in there. So it's kind of like a 50-50 system. So cable and hydraulic. Uh, they've got this new stem attachment because anybody that uh, knows about these scooters, uh, when these first came out, they had real problems with uh, the stem cracking. So I think they've probably sorted that out or hopefully they've sorted that out by now. Let me just take this off, like so. Oh, it's a, a really beautiful bit of kit. Now this scooter comes in, I think it's three colours. They do a blue, a black, uh, and a black and silver with these bits, silver. But I kind of like the stealth look approach on it. That's why I went with the all black. That's what I do like about the Cougar G2 Pro as well. That's uh, pretty much all black. It looks pretty funky. I put the grips on there, which make it look good. So. Let me grab the uh, camera and turn it around and I'll go through the finer details of this. So, okay, so let's start at the back of this. So basically you can see uh, these semi-hydraulic uh, brake pads, uh, brake system, uh, nice little solid disc there. So I think there'll be some really pretty good uh, uh, stopping power on there. It runs a front and a rear brake, so uh, there shouldn't be any problems about stopping. Uh, you've got this lovely little bit of... Uh, suspension spring on the back there which uh, is going to hopefully give you some good uh, softening over bumps and stuff and now these are the tires now i was very against uh one eight well no like uh 8 inch tires uh, the xiaomi had 8 inch tires and i fell off and broke my arm and i thought i'd never get another scooter with an 8 inch tire but why I went for this one, yeah, because you can see the Mantis uh, single motor uh, on there. So that should be quite a talky little motor. I'll, I'll actually do a, a running video of this so we can do some comparisons uh, 
against the other scooters but it's got a three inch wide tire now so although it's eight inch it's actually a really chunky tire so that you've got a huge amount of rubber touching the uh touching the ground so there shouldn't be any problem with it slipping out or anything so uh that's one of the reasons why i went with the eight as opposed to ten so let's give that a try but they they feel really grippy as well and uh, they just feel quality this just feels real quality you know look at look at the mud guard it's a solid bit of plastic on there and it covers you know pretty much over past half the tire so you shouldn't get any of that horrible slop water that you do if you were to take this out in the rain so uh i'm going to obviously tire foam the tires uh, I don't know whether these are prone to, to punches like the M365 and stuff, but I shall definitely be putting some tyre slime in there. And you can actually watch my previous video of putting tyre slime in the tyres a few videos back, or I'll put a link to it in the video somewhere up down wherever I'm going to do it later. So moving round, as you can see, you've got a really, you know, good mount for your foot. That's another another solid, and I think that's a good thing to pick up with as well. That's a, a good solid uh kind of handle to pick it up with as well so uh these are look you got the leds along the side uh as i said really really nice deck and you've got the lights built-in lights here as well so and um, this actually comes with the indicators so moving to the front again really nice design it's a really sleek looking design this so uh, i really like it as I said, this locking device on here is a lot more sturdier than the what it originally used to have. Uh, it just used to have a tiny little one, uh, but this actually is a, a quite a solid uh, clasp. Everybody's seen these; they know how those, you know, screw in and then lock shut and stuff. So I don't need to go through that. Uh, again, you've got this lovely chunky uh, red spring at the front, bringing us down to the front end of the scooter. Another solid uh mud guard on the front there so we shouldn't be you know getting hit in the face by water again the semi-hydraulic brakes on the front and so just a really really nice scooter now again look another fat chunky tire on the front so uh and as, as i said you've got uh dual disc brakes front and rear so we shouldn't have any problem stopping this bad boy in the rain or anywhere not just the rain but pretty much any any speeds so let's move up to the cockpit uh really nice stunky ch a chunky stem uh i'll do a comparison size against this and the g2 pro because these both are the newest scooters out there so uh moving up to the cockpit okay so as i said moving on to the cockpit here uh the thing which i liked about this as well is it's 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 got built-in uh indicators horn this that and the other so and it all feels really nice it's all rubber and soft to the touch so it's it's uh feels really nice obviously you've got a bell let people know that you're coming uh really solid stem actually quite quite narrow bars in comparison to what i'm used to but uh i know on that one uh on the g2 they're really quite wide but uh yeah we should try it so yeah really nice stem this actual uh device here actually locks down onto if you can see there onto that bit when the for scooter folds in half so that you can actually pick it up and move it around uh, mini motor style display uh let's see if it's got any charging oh yeah it's got the charge there so basically you've got all the modes it's in third third gear at the moment uh i need to see it's got uh going through your odometer uh yeah zero kilometers to the clock so basically uh yeah i shall do a going through the programming of this and the settings on it i shall do uh, on my next video but yeah so it's a absolutely great looking scooter uh i really like the stealth look to it and that solid stem headset stem is is pretty sensational so let me put the two together and we'll have a look so there you can see the two. Obviously, you've got the, the Kaboom Mantis 8 in the front uh, against the also the very new Kugu G2 Pro. And as you can see, they're of similar size. You know, uh, some might say, why would I buy two scooters that were so similar? Well, we've got I've got kids, you see, and 
the Xiaomi uh, MP65 is just too slow. It's good for zipping around town and stuff, but so I wanted some of that the kids could actually, uh, you know, use with me and not get left alone, you know, left, left standing and stuff. So that's why I've got the two of them. You know, the similar power, similar specs to how far they can go, this, that, and the other. But uh, they're both looking pretty cool. Yeah, the difference is that's more of an off-road kit. Uh, you've got the 10-inch tyres. 10 inch wheels sorry and more suspension travel whereas this is the 8 inch uh, wheels but 3 inches wide so this is more on road kind of cruising mobile so uh, so that's the two together guys Uh, Mantis 8 Eco against the Cabo GP Pro. Let's have a race. Three, two, one, go. Both in third gear. Oh, the Cabo's got me. Ah, he's got me, got me, got me. No. So, as you can see on here, we've got the lights, turns on all of the front and rear lights. You've got your indicators, shows you a little uh, green light when you're indicating. So you, the thing is you do have to cancel it, so you have to press it again. Same again on the other one and stop. Uh, this is just a generic horn. There's no actual horn on here. Uh, it's just a, you know, like I said, generic, uh, generic one. So the horn doesn't work but you, instead you do have this on there so finger throttle as you can see I'm just going to give it a give it the beans as you can see lovely and stable 32 34 I am going up at a slight hill 40 and there's a car coming always so yeah it does about 50 kilometers an hour this so uh, I think it's a beautiful scooter. So, so smooth, really, really smooth. And those eight inch wheels, they don't make any difference whatsoever. They're like three inches wide. So, uh, oh. they're like three inches wide. Let me just wait for the Kugu G2 Pro to pass me. There we go. Let's catch her up. So that is my daughter on my G2 Pro, uh, which I absolutely love. But this one is uh, it's a lot smoother. It feels a lot more stable. Uh, quality feels a lot better. So uh, yeah, this may well be my new favorite scooter. Oh, this is just so smooth so so smooth at nearly 40 kilometers an hour as well bit of wind noise I'm afraid but a 
aren't even stable enough to take you. Just pull in, car done in. Okay, go. See, the acceleration in the Mantis 8 is quicker than the GT, G2 Pro, but they both get up to the same kind of speed. Bear in mind, my daughter is uh, only about 40 kilo, whereas I'm nearer 80 kilo. But you can see that it's a solid, solid scooter. Suspension's working well. Two different types of thumb fit throttles. The index finger on the Cabo and the thumb throttle on this one.